Good morning, Belen. Please stand for the morning prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. The cross is a sign of suffering, a sign of human cruelty at its worst. But by Christ's love shown in the Paschal Mystery, it has become the sign of triumph and victory, the sign of God who is love itself. Believers have always looked to the cross in times of suffering. People in concentration camps, in prisons, in hospitals, in any place of suffering and loneliness have been known to draw, trace, or form crosses and focus their eyes and hearts on them. The cross does not explain pain and misery. It does not give us any easy answers, but it does help us to see our lives united with the life of Christ. We often make the sign of the cross over ourselves. We make it before prayer to help fix our minds and our hearts on God. We make it after prayer, hoping to stay close to God. In trials and temptations, the cross is a sign of strength and protection. The cross is the sign of the fullness of life that is ours. At baptism, too, the sign of the cross is used. The priest, parents, and the godparents make the sign on the forehead of the child, A sign made on the forehead is a sign of belonging. By the sign of the cross in baptism, Jesus takes us as his own in a unique way. Today, let us look to the cross often. Let us make the sign of the cross and realize we bring our whole selves to God, our minds, souls, bodies, wills, thoughts, hearts, everything we are and will become. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel and, with burning soul, pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them, within me and calling to mind the words which David your prophet said to you my Jesus they have pierced my hands and my feet they have numbered all of my bones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all.